Hello, how the devil are you? I've missed you. Yeah, of course I have. You know I love you. This is my favourite time when we're together enjoying some goddamn football manager and we are back with episode 5, season 5 of Rebuilding FC St. Pauli. Can't wait. I was hoping for a big year with Champions League football for frick's sake. The club is on the up and up and up. About to expand the stadium. I think I made some good signings. But you never know what's going to happen. But before we get into today's episode, I need to talk about something. You all know that I love Lorenzo Luca. I don't hide that fact. I've had a lot of joy from this lad on FM22 in Bologna, on Project 23 with Russia Dortmund, and of course, recently on Building Venezia. If you play this kid, he will become a superstar. I can promise you that. And I also promise you, and my man of my word, that I would not sign him again on FM22, even though the urge is real, and I could have, especially for St. Pauli. I've not. And now I don't think I can anyway. Because he has broken my heart and signed for our arch rivals, Hamburg. Oh! Everything running through my mind, man. It's like my, my brain could stop racing. Derby days this year. If he scores against me, I might actually cry. He's, he's going to be playing for our arch rivals. My favourite player of FM22. I mean, he might come out for a coffee with me. We live in the same city. That'll be special. That'll warm my heart. But Jesus Christ. And proof, by the way, that you need to play the kid. Because he made his big money move, didn't he? No, I could have signed him. I remember showing you, I'm sure I did. I could have signed him. Obviously, I didn't. Uh, made his big money move, 31 and a half million to Red Bull Leipzig, who didn't use him. Played him five times, he didn't score. You idiots. Absolute idiots. Um, and Hamburg have got him for half that price. 14 and a half million, what, just a year pretty much later. Will they play him? Well, they freaking well should, because he's brilliant. And uh, obviously, they're in the Champions League as well, so proper excited for this year. So we have three major outs, and of course, you know about this one. Finn Becker left on a free. Won't stay. He's a St. Pauli boy. He's going to Heidenheim. Good luck, kid. The other two players have signed for the same team. Hoffenheim have come in for both of them at different times, but fair enough. Now, Adrian Fine, he's a decent, solid midfielder. I had too many players like him, um, so I decided to sell him. Got about 6.75 million for him. And also Lucas May, my, whatever you want to call him, decent defender. But I've got better, um, so I put him up for sale. Got 6.25 for him. Now, in the door... You'll know, I've signed Gavi. He's not a wonder kid anymore. Um, probably because he's 21. But he's a good player, right? Don't mean he's going to play. I'll be honest with you. But whenever you sign a guy in a free, if it don't work out, and you sell him on, whatever you're going to get, it's profit. We'll see how it goes. I've just got all the players I think I like more. Also in a free, I've signed Theo from Real Madrid. We all know who his famous father is. Not worth a ton of money. And he, he looks decent on paper. Again, he'll be a squad player. We'll see how that all works out for him. And again, if it don't work out... We could move him on maybe but I, just, I couldn't once he came up and that was the thing you know I've been scouting all year you know I did this whole massive scout all year and in January I look for three players especially good young ones but once we hit that Champions League right at the end of the year a whole new crop of players came available a lot of them didn't want to sign for me or they chose other clubs even though they were interested they didn't want to wait me out and, and that's how we got a feel but it also got us this guy Eisen Pozo, 20 year old, Spanish, regen, wonder kid, centre half, right back. He's going to play both for me. Now, he popped up very late, and I'm surprised why has no one picked him up already. Brilliant. Um, he was wanted by Leicester City and Dortmund, but no one had offered him a contract. So we offered him a contract, and he only wanted 25 grand a week. And then Leicester and Dortmund offered him contracts, and I started to think, do you know what? Fuck it, Fuck it. I'm going to go for this. Not often I get a chance to sign quality free. Superstar wonder kid like this, a regen, I love a regen. So I offered him, as you can see, 55 grand a week. There you go. Take it or leave it. He's still going to get probably similar. You're going to pick the Premier League. If you want to come to Germany, you're going to pick Dortmund over St. Pauli. This lad, um, I liked, right? Because he had a minimum fee of 2.5 million. That's how we've signed him from Frankfurt. Did I need him? No. 18, no. German. He's going to be play. He's going to be in the first team squad. Um, like a lot of youngsters are this year. Big squad this year, but they're all going to be available for St. Pauli too. And then finally, I was hinting at it if you watch my Wonder Kid Wanderers recent video that came out the day before this, hopefully. Um, I've signed Martin van der Voort and we've gone big on this. So I had a goalkeeper. I know 
from doing the Monday Kid videos that he always ends up being one of the best goalkeepers on the game. Now, um, he plays for Genk and they wanted 50 million. Now, we've ended up spending in total 55, 20 million straight. And then the others is what it, international appearances, game appearances, some of it's spread out in monthly payments. It's a big purchase for us. Now, the squad is big this year, but as you can see, a lot of these lads are going to be, you know, in and out. And these are all our lads, like Walter, as you can see, uh, Nick, the old guys who come through the academy. Uh, he's the guy, obviously not. I've just signed him for 2.5 million. Um, he's been around the first team for a bit. Ali, I think he's developing, even though he's not played a ton. He is a good player and uh, he's not a bad player either. So they're, they're about and helping him from the European squad as well. Now, we're not going to go through every single player, but I'll change it to value. As you can see, my new superstar goalkeeper, my new superstar defender. My striker, I'm hoping for another big year from him. He's a great player on bomb. And this is what I'm going on about, Gavi. I've got solid midfielders. Um, Bomb is a solid midfielder. Um, Stiller, solid midfielder. Really like Geiger, solid midfielder. Really good players. So I'm happy with that. Um, still got really good defenders. Antov is my captain. Great defender. Uh, Dave, great defender. The squad was looking good. Now, I really wanted a left back. Couldn't really find one. Um, but I've got a Goo who can play there. We've got Catabacks who can play there. Uh, Felix is a very good left back and he plays there a lot this year. Um, so I'm happy with that because he's been here ages and he's a good, good player. Um, wingers again, couldn't really find any. So, you know, we've still got Roberts and so on. We've still got Cesar Galbert. They're good, they're good players. Um, that might still be my weakness, but it's money. And money is maybe going to start becoming an issue. Because each year we're losing money because the wages are going up and we're spending money. Um, and then when we get our prize money, it's covering the debt. But then at the start of each year, I'm, I'm, I'm having less and less and less. And this year, by the end of the season, we were going to be in quite a bit of debt. Um, but it's not an issue. Um, I've just got to hopefully find some more Pozos on a free. The bookies like us sort of. They've got us in eighth. Um, obviously, we were top four last year. I want to stay there. I want to stay in European football. I prefer Champions League because of the money. Um, that's what I really, really want. I really, really want it. Comes to the board, their expectations are growing. But the club is growing. And they want us to qualify for the Europa League, which I think is easily achievable. And um, we're going straight into the group stage, which was well exciting. And then Paul Cal every year. I want that bad boy. On to the staff quickly. They still won't give me any extra coaches, which is annoying. Um, a performance analyst left. So I found a performance analyst who's very good at fitness coaching. So he's the one who's boosted me fitness. That just annoys me, especially when I've got all that. Quickly, on to pre-season. Um, played a couple of games on my tour against some local sides, battered them. Went to America, it's always a bit sketchy for us in America. Yeah, we got beat off the Red Bulls, drew with Galaxy. And then I was invited to Ter Stegen's testimonial. Fuck it, sod it, let's do it, all right? I reckon we could fit that in. I didn't think we'd win, but we did. I know it's only a friendly. Fatty got their goals, but we beat Barcelona, and that just gives you that little bit of hope that we might actually be okay in Europe and not be an embarrassment to Germany. Now, it's the 1st of January. And at this point, we're seventh. Although it's tight. I mean, we're on 28 points at this point. Leipzig, who are in third, are on 32. So there's not a lot in it. It's really competitive. It's fun. I just wish at times we'd been a little bit better. And it's been disappointing, certain aspects of it. We've got a leading goal scorer in the league, though, at this moment in time. Apparently, he's better than Robert Lewandowski at, at this moment. Um, now, Heidenheim, Finn Becker, struggling down there in relegation. Hamburger in 10th. They've done well. They've got themselves Lorenzo Luca. Are they using him? Well, yes, he's playing properly. They're out and out striker. Seven goals in 13 in the league. Two and two in the cup. Three and six in Champions League. Play the kid. He will score. But he didn't score against us in the derby. And we'll have a look at that goal in a minute from Annie. Annie. If you need a goal, Annie is your man. But as you can see, we had a tough start. Uh, but we drew with Dortmund away, which is great. Leipzig. I explain this game sometimes. Look at that. Four goals. Lovely jubbly. Uh, beat Finn Becker. Tough shit. 1-5-0, I'm thinking. I love it when a plan comes together. We're winning the Bundesliga this year. And uh, then we got a beat off them. A little rebuild of mine. Uh, we went on a good run. Didn't lose for four games. Um, and it's just been a bit... Yeah, Stuttgart, Juby Wolfsburg. Close game against FC Bayern, to be fair to us. Um, the derby game, obviously. Then back-to-back -back defeats. And then back-to-back victories 
But let's check out that goal against our arch rivals. I mean, we've got Gilbert here on the left, cuts inside to Angel Gomez, who's still playing for me. Still defying the odds of his £1.5 million fee. And look at evolving mindset on the ad boards. Gotta love it. Onto the Pokal. My dream of the Pokal. Was it going to happen this year? We started off playing Vilsin. About a B team, as you can tell. Pretty much B team, did it? Some guys have got in there, obviously. You never know. Um, but we annihilated them. On to the next round. <laughs> Ozo got us a goal in the 90 second minute. And then it's the Champions League. And we had a tough group. I think we had a group of death. Really, and to finish third, I was pretty chuffed, especially because we only won one game. Although, what a game, right? Drew two, lost three, Liverpool beat me both times. Give me right ass kicking. Although, when it came out, I thought Napoli, Liverpool win it. Liverpool, Liverpool. There's a good chance we could come second. It was a Napoli. Fair play to Ajax. But that means Europa League football. Oh, look who we've got. Genk. This game throws these things at you. These stories. It does. Conspiracy theories. I know. But this, this te is a team I'm eventually going to be giving 55 million quid for my goalkeeper. Imagine they beat me and they stick about 20 goals past him. Laughing on the sideline in a pile of money. Smoking freaking massive doobies. Rolling up bloody 50 euro notes. <sighs> Cheers, dude. We do, though, have some fantastic news, some positive news. Out of the Champions League, out of the Pokal, seventh in the league. It's not going great, but we've got great news. Because they didn't fucking cancel the stadium expansion. No, the Milanator Stadion is now a 37,000 capacity. And if you're watching the little video that I should be playing, you'll notice it's only got 20,000 seats because it's all outstanding. It's a fantastic little stadium. Um, and they said a right good boost here. It was 29,000. It's now 37,000. Hopefully we'll make a little bit more money. Uh, it's cost us a lot of money and it's part of the reason we're getting a bit of debt this year, but it's worth it. You want to grow that club. State of the art training facilities now. Superb youth facilities. So we've got stuff to do. Could improve the youth recruitment. And if you're wondering why, after episode one and two, I've not shown you any youth intakes. And I won't be showing you one this year because it's the worst. It's a poor one. It's because of shit. I had two great ones, the rest of crap. But this is one positive. It's a boost for the club. And we need the boost. We'll go over to the squad, arranged by average rating. Um, a lot of these lads haven't played much, so ignore that. Um, I mean, guys are doing well. Look, Felix playing at left back. He's been fantastic. <laughs> Covering at left back. Who needs a new left back? Um, I think one of our issues this year, and I'll switch it to goals, is he scoring. Although four of them was in one game. He's not. It's consistent every game like it was last year. And Jan Thielman, who's been great for me, scored goals up front, scored the same amount of goals as Arnie up front pretty much. Last year, from on the right wing, isn't scoring as much either. We're not scoring as much, I think. That's what I felt like. And by April Fool's Day, um, 1st of April 2026, we were fifth and it's still tight. Tight on the duck's ass, but it's becoming a battle, really, for fourth. Uh, obviously, Bayern way ahead still awesome um, still got the leading goal scorer though by one goal don't know how uh, Dortmund and Leverkusen look like they've they got their little battle there second and third and then it's between us Hertha Borussia Mönchengladbach and I'd say Red Bull yeah it's tight right we were going to have to play some good football but at this point I won't lie we're actually in a good run it's nice to get our shit together um, and I was enjoying it I was excited for it because it is exciting. I mean, I'd, I'd still be happy with fifth, but I would like to stay as a Champions League team. So I felt pressure, really like excited for every game to come. And it was moments when I was playing like tough teams in and around me. And yeah, it, it's been fun. In the new year, it didn't start great. Getting beat off uh, Dortmund 1 0, getting beat off Leipzig 1 0. We beat Heidenheim, I think Becker, then freaking that's a team in and around us. What a what a game, like Kevin Keegan game, it is what it is. But then, you know, getting two victories we needed, getting beat off Union Berlin was very disappointing. But then four games on the bounce, four victories. Onto the Europa League, and as you can see, we threw to the quarterfinals. So, still a trophy up there for us, maybe. Uh, we're getting... <laughs> got beat off Genk. I mean, he played all right. 
still had three goals in. Um, but then we beat him 3-0 at our place. Fantastic. Then we've got Leon. 2-2. Two -two. At home. A bit worried. Boys didn't let me down. Beat him 2-1. Patrick Roberts. What a ledge. And I've got Marseille. So onto the squad. And again, you know, we're doing all right. And he's doing well. He's scoring goals. Um, we need to create more. His sisters aren't up to scratch, I don't think. Um, Patrick Roberts has been good. But other players who were great last year I, I, I've kind of fell off. Angel Gomez, um, Cesar Gilbert, players like that. I think I really need to think about moving on. Gavi has been more of a squad player. He is good and he's wanted by Aston Villa, I think, at this time. There's other players I like more, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Theo, I'll definitely be cashing in on. Won't get too much for him. <sighs> One disappointment this year has been Jan Tillman, and I don't know what's up with him. We've now got to the end, and before we look at anything, let's go to Derby Day. Now, this game was a, a tough one for me in a way, because it was slap banging between the two Marseille games. Um, but it's Derby, we've got to go for it. Now, I'm just happy I've survived my first season up against Luca, playing for my arch rivals, and he, he's not scored. Good goal this, to be fair, from Draxler. Our equaliser, oh, I love this, I love this pass from Tillman. That is vision. Um, I thought Gilbert was lost it there, but he doesn't pulls it back, still scores. And then this one, I love the delivery from Basti. And I thought, ah! Oh! But we recovered 60 points, two points above her for Berlin. The top three set in stone. The battle for fourth is real between three of us. So there's lots of maths involved. Things can happen. Our goal difference is helping us a touch slightly at this moment in time. But it's between us, Hertha Berlin and Borussia Mönchengladbach. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, Arnie's dropped down. By a goal. Bloody Robert Lewandowski. Still going. We're on that good run anyway. As you know, we'd won four games on the bounce. Came up against FC Bayern. And drew. Although it did say we were lucky to draw. But at any point you can get off them. I think it's a good thing. Um, as you know, we won the derby. And then it was Bayer Leverkusen. Who... I'm trying to remember at the time. Obviously, like third, fourth and fifth. I think we were fifth at the time. They were third, I think. So we drew with them. So it was a bit gutted, but, you know, they were a good team. And then this was a big one. This was massive for us, beating them 3-1. And I just beat Hoffenheim, obviously, in the last game, 2-1. Going into the last game against these guys. Now, you do know we are the current holders of the Europa Conference League. And I don't mind cracking on going in the Europa League because I want to be a Champions League team. And um, it'd be nice to get the full set, wouldn't it? Didn't go to plan in the first game. At home as well. And it was a complete disaster from the off. And uh, went 2-0 down. I was like, oh, God. I mean, don't get me wrong. The boys came back. We fought hard. We tried our best. And uh, they got <laughs> Yanazai in their team, for fuck's sake. Um, so it was 2-2. So, yeah, we lost. We're out. Quick look at the squad range, average rating. And again, look, I mean, guys are chipping in. Tillman's got 12. I mean, Gilbert's come out of nowhere with 15. Uh, Roberts with 12. I mean, they've done well. They're all right. It's just been some disappointing moments, really. Um, this game's just lost times when I felt like we turned up in the last year we didn't turn up this year just, there's work to do but it is a process and I just think we've got a lot of the pieces in place now some really good players really good players players who could win stuff I just feel like yeah we'll just I'm just gonna have to see who can get out the door how much money can I raise how much money I've got to spend and who's available and that is the case every summer for all of us who play this game now I can't believe this is on the TV it does annoy me that it's a top four battle I mean, this game for us is massively important. You think people want to see. Um, so, yeah, you didn't get to see the lineup, but I feel like I picked a good team. Um, great back four there. I mean, Felix at left back's been outstanding for me. I, I would love to find a superstar left back. You can't always find what you want. He's gone out there this year because obviously got more centre halves in. Um, and we won 0 down. After 30 seconds. Well, that's a great start, isn't it? Brilliant. Um, he's been good. Pozo put stuck in at right back today. He's a fantastic young player. He's got a big. Big future there's us down in fifth. Um, but I've got a strong bench and all. I've got options on that bench. Tillman, got good midfielders on the bench. Got a goo as well. Can come in at left back or right back. Um, but we have not started this game well at all. Ten minutes in and they're at us. Again, and they're like a mid-table team. Got all to play for. They just want to ruin the party. The St. Pauli party. Ain't no party like a St. Pauli party, man. Like, come on, come on. Um, but yeah, I've been playing attacking most of the year. Not mentality-wise, but the formation and... It does. It, it is fun. I mean, I have. Oh no, referee! Goal disallowed. You absolute. Well, that's a kick in the fucking goal, isn't it? Great. Anyway, right. Game's not over. Still a long way to go. We just need to turn this on. 
Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying this, man. Really, I'm enjoying it. You might notice as well, I've given Gavi a shot. Um, he has been a bit more squad. He plays, played as many games as sub appearances, pretty much. But you know, he's, he's a very, he's a good player, a good little wonder kid. Don't really want to move him on. Um, I've gone with the most solid midfielders throughout most of the season. Go on, kid. I'm dropping him some encouragement. Come on, lads. We're turning this game now. We're putting on this pressure. Is Pozo finding Roberts, who's just been a brilliant signing for me. All right, come on, Gavi, lad. Finds Roberts. Roberts, what are you doing? I'm going to pick it back up. Come on, come on. I like this. I like this. I've got a good feeling about this. Really good feeling. That's why. I got a feeling the referee's going to disallow it again. Go the one in! Fuck! It's like a little angel sent from heaven for 1.5 million. No. No, 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 no. Well done. But defending from Gilbert. Oofed it out, though. Giving him straight back. I mean, he's got that to play for, these plums. Nothing. Go on, there we go. Oh, shit, a brick. You got to touch that, didn't you? We're still in fourth. 1-1, one, one, but we are in fourth. Things are going our way. Even though Hertha Berlin are winning, the goal difference is the same. Oh, the pressure, the pressure, the drama. I love it. I do love it. Right, come on. Here's Pozo. Can't get to it. Can't get to it. I've got the legs. Schnizzle my brizzle, whatever that means. Oh, no. Vision pass. Phillips going to get onto this one on one with a £55 million goalkeeper. And he dinks him. Maximilian Philippe. Well, it's half time. I'm going to go this loud. We let one in at the start, we let one in at the end. First and 45th minute. <sighs> well, there we go. Second half's kicked off and Dennis Geiger. I want to move like Geiger. I want to move like Geiger. Bit more steel in the middle. He's come on for Gavi. The Gavi experiment is done for this game. Right, I've made some changes. Not took effect yet. We've got a highlight. Hopefully, it's a good highlight. It'd be nice to score and then the changes take effect. But I'm going attacking. And Jan Thielman is going to come on for Roberts. Oh, I thought the bounce was going to go in my favour then for Arnie. It's not. It's not going in our favour. Right, come on. He's running behind you, man on. Here's Antoff. Finds Stiller. Finds Roberts, who's coming off. Once the ball goes out. Oh, there you go, Pozo. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. What are you doing? Think of it. Think about what you're doing. <gasps> Draw won't be enough, I don't think. But it'll do, mate. It'll give us a fighting chance. Getting beat with and screwed. Come on, lads. He's turned him. He's controlled it. He's got men around him, but he's found Angel. He's thrown it through to Jan Tillman. Where's that referee? The fucking ref Every single goal referee. Don't know what happened then, but he's obviously giving it. Right, I'm going for this. Let's go for it. Come on. Let's go for it. All that attack. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, 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 attack. Come on. Angel Gomez. First it through to Felix. Come on, Felix, lad. He's on a yellow, but he's a legend. He's somehow trying to get it through, but they're being scrappy. Come on, boys. Affenberger. Affengruber, sorry. It's not a burger, it's a Gruber. Oh, Tillman with one of his famous passes. <gasps> Show me the league table. I can't, really, I can't remember anything. I've got, my mind's gone into shit. I can't think of anything. I don't know who's who. Who's up against us? What scores do I need them to lose, draw, what by? I don't know. Can we win it? Go on, Gomez. Go on, Angel. Go on. Go on! <laughs> Where's that referee? He's nowhere to be seen. Nowhere. I've dropped back. We've got a defensive midfielder in. I've even dropped the defensive line and I've gone to balance. No, don't do that too often, but I'm feeling that pressure. I'm feeling it and it could work for us. What a game. Eh? It wasn't a cup final, but what What a game. What a game. What a oh, man. Do you know what? My heart, right? I've got more than pulled single from this game out of that then. The mid them winning the conference last year. When it, that's, that's giving me the best buzz in ages. Oh, that was quality. Quality. And you can kind of tell how much debt we're in when you think we've just won 73 million. And I've only got 47 in the bank. It's okay, though. Now, no one is going to be leaving on a free. Um, although, there are two guys who want to leave coming to the last year of their contracts. And that might happen, really. Because, you know, I want to do stuff. So, the third choice goalkeeper, he'll be out the door, see if I can get any money for him. Catterback, out the door. Um, now I've got my makeshift left back. We'll see who we can find. Got a goo. Might find a new right back. Depends. What's what? Um, definitely going to sell players like Theo. There might be a couple of lads go. There you go. That is the end of episode five. Season five. As always, thanks for joining me. Your view 
is the best thing ever and I hope your viewing guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, hopefully you'll come back for season six. I'm now off for four days, so you know, if I've got time on my hands, I should be able to bash out another season. No danger. Um, fingers crossed. Monday, I'm all on my own all day long. Football manager galore. So, you know, next one should be coming pretty soon. Uh, make sure you catch up on my other content. If you haven't watched the Wonder Kid video, the new Wonder Kid Wanderers video, go check it out. It's a bit different than the other ones. Um, I appreciate anything, any support. Patrons, you guys are legends. Um, and hopefully, I'm really hoping that next week will be the week the custom series comes out. Like I said, it's already, it's just the intro. It's, it's intricate with the people that are helping me. I've just got to get that sorted, which I'm hoping to do over the next few days while I'm not in work. So I'll get to work on that, I promise. Just stay happy, stay safe. You know, the world is crazy, man, at the minute. It's, it's dodgy, as we all know. So hopefully you're okay and we're all going to be okay. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.